Man, blessings. Shout out to everybody tuning in, man. T truly grateful. Hope y'all having a blessed morning. <laughs> Ain't no way this nigga say I'm about to go ball. Quit playing, man. You know that's my little white spot. <laughs> Brody say I'm about to go ball, man. So all you need to go on with that bull crap, man. Need to go on, Claude. MVP, you say you over there grinding 2K right now? I don't... I'm trying something. I don't know if I'm able to play 2K while I'm doing this because I need, I mean, I mean, I need to talk. I need to talk along with it so I can give my examples of life through these process, through these videos I'm about to show you this morning. So I ain't, so I ain't gonna play 2K until probably later on tonight or this evening. Um, so we're probably gonna do about two hours, two to three hours of this right here. It's what I probably start doing in the morning time. And then playing 2K later at night. Because like I, I keep telling y'all, I've been saying it for years. This is the true purpose right here. This is what I'm, what I'm about to do today is what I'm trying to get my community transition to. I'm trying to get us to transition to playing 2K, but still doing this in the background. You know what I'm saying? Like that right there. Uh, I've been trying to meditate. I'm not all the way there with the meditation yet. You know, it's a process. Um, it's a process for me because I can meditate at the gym. I think I, I, from what I have learned about meditating, I think I meditate often at the gym. Every time I go to the gym, I meditate. The way I work out, the way I, once I need to take my, like, I take three minutes to five minute breaks in between my sets. And I always sit there in my silence, collect myself, and I try to center myself, you know, calm down, breathe properly. So I think I always have been meditating. I just never understood, okay, that's what meditating is. Because some people say meditating is actually going to work out. So there are so many different forms of meditating. And, um, you know, I may look silly to a lot of y'all to get on here have 2K, I'm a 2K player, and you might be like, yo, bro, what are you doing? But these are the things that can help us move forward in life. I always say, this video game, you know what, let me pull up this video. Let me pull up, before we even get started, I didn't have this on the menu, but we're gonna pull it up. We're gonna pull up the video of what happened when we don't, okay, We're going to pull up what happened when we don't take life serious. When we don't work on us, but we step inside of this video game and we go all in on this video game. And like I said, I, I wanted to react to this video, but I wasn't going to react to it today. Let's find it. Uh, okay. So, we gotta so we're going to react to this video today. It's not a video that I, I had on the menu, but we're gonna look into it when we when we put so much effort, we put so much energy into something that can't move us forward. I'm not saying we can't have a moment to come and play the video games and relax, man, to get out get out of our whatever we dealing with in life. My boy said meditate, meditate and relax your mind, peace. Yes, yes, but. It's not, you know, everybody have their own way of meditating. So I would say, you know, go look into it and see what work best for you. You know, because like I said, some people say just going to the gym is there. It's all they need. And some people want to go sit out in the grass. Some people go light candles around their house. So it's so many different styles. Some people do yoga, you know. It's so many different ways to meditate. But like I said, go look into it and see which one is more comfortable for your lifestyle. You know, some people are so busy that they probably feel like they don't have a moment to stop. But we all do have a moment to stop and just sit in on our inner thoughts and, and be able to sit with ourselves. And because, you know, a lot of people, they run and run and run and run and run and they never get a moment to sit with themselves. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you go to work. Then you come home from work, you eating. Then you playing 2K. Then you working out. Then you studying for your test. Then you, you get prepared for work. Then you going to bed. So at what point did you get to say, let me sit with myself and talk with myself? Let me talk with my inner thoughts. Let me see where I'm at. Let me get my peace. Let me get my comfort. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of us never get to that, bro. You got so weak. My brother said we got to deal with them kids. And you know, once the, we got to go to work, leave work, go straight to the daycare, pick the kids up. So you feel me? Like, then you got to come home and cook for the kids. Then you got to help them with their homework. Then you got to, after you finish that, you might want to get like, Three, four minutes of your own self of, you know, you're going to check on your social media. You, I'm like, this, we're just keeping it 100. So, at what point did you get that time to just put away all your devices, put away your kids, put away your wife, put away your husband, and you just, just chilling? A lot of us don't get that. So, this is what I try to bring to the 2K community. I don't try to bring this because I'm trying to stand out. I'm not faking. Like I said, I know I may look weird to some of y'all. But this dude be tripping. Bro, really on here with the meditation music. Bro, really on here, you know what I'm saying? You know, like he doing some extra shit. I'm not doing nothing that is outside of me. I'm just being me, and I'm trying to share what I think is working in my life and many other people's life. Because success leave clues. I've been hearing this all week. Success leave clues. Success leave clues. So when we go look at the clues that success has left from millions of people around the world, meditation is a part of it. Learning yourself, being honed in on yourself, gym is a part of it. When we go look at it, when we go look at 99% of people that are successful in life, whether we want to say financially successful, peace, whether we want to say successfully marriage, um, whatever success you want, a great job or, you know, successful in school. When we look at the track record of all these people that we claim to be successful in our world, we see similar patterns. Discipline. Work at it. Gym. Eating correctly. Like we see a lot of these things. So it's like some of us we say we want to be successful, but we don't go to work on time. Being the successful clues that we have seen is not going to work on time, but going to work early. Staying at, work, staying at work late. Missing out on the parties. Not drinking as much. Not smoking as much. So we know what, we know, we have seen so many clues that have been left behind of what a successful track record looked like. But it just, sometimes we don't, we don't put the action to, you know, we don't put it into action. It just, you know, I, I try to be, I try to say these things nicely because I know I'm dealing with a lot of younger crowd. Then, you know, I have a lot of OGs that rock with me, but you know, we play in 2K. So, you know, we have a, a more younger crowd. So I don't try to say these things to discourage you. I'm not trying to force you to change your life because I know I can never do that. I'm now learning that. I'm now learning that. No matter how much I put this in front of you, you still gonna do what you wanna do. But I but before we get started with the show, I wanna play this video right here of this man throwing his eight month old baby against the wall in frustration over NBA 2K25. And that's what I'm trying to get us to separate from. I'm trying to get us to go on this game and take as many L's as possible. And be able to walk away at peace. Yesterday, me and my team was in the stage. We didn't play great, but we laughed. We won some games. We lost some games. 
But I was able to get off of here at peace. I wasn't upset at nobody. I wasn't angry at nobody. Because I get it. The game is the game. I need to be able to. We can't go out here into these ventures and let these things control our lives. We can't let this game control us. We got to be in control of the game. We have to be in control of self while playing the game. Yes, we want to win every game. Yes, we want to, you know, but if I don't win every game, how does it affect me? No, affect me? No, because I lose every game, my life's supposed to go downward? If I win every game, what does it do for me? So it's like, at all times, control self. Get on here and have your fun, but it should never come to what we are about to hear. And I haven't watched the video yet. I seen the title a couple of days ago, and I was like, man, I definitely want to react to it that with y'all. So, like I said, before we start the show, well, this is a part of the show too, because this is this is a lesson. And this is why we gonna watch the videos that we are about to watch today. Some of y'all, let me tell you right now. When I first started my journey of trying to be educated, I was doing this. Can y'all see me? Yo, tell you what if you see what I'm doing. When I first started listening to audio books, when I first started listening to a podcast that kind of educate me, where I was, man, damn, it been on three hours? Yeah, I've been asleep for two of them hours. I was falling asleep, bro. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you, dog. you finna just listen to this shit and not walk away. You go, we have to build up to this type of knowledge because a lot of us, we not into this. And I'm, I'm speaking for myself. I wasn't into learning about real estate. I'm not finna, at the time, I was like, at that point in time, when I first started, like, I ain't finna buy no real estate. What the fuck I need to listen to this for? But things have changed since then. When I was listening to my stocks, they got, I don't have no stocks with them. That shit was making me drowsy. But as I started listening, 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 now, nigga, I can go days. I can go days without listening to BS in all knowledge. I can go weeks. Every day I get in the car, the radio don't get a chance to play unless the kids is just do, 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 do. But the radio don't really get a chance to play. The radio come on once out of 24 hours, and that's after pick the kids up, and my phone, you know, your phone is still charging while you got it hooked up to the aux card. And I'd be like, I'm going to be wanting to overcharge my phone 24-7. So I'm like, hey, I've been having this month. Every time I get in the car, it already charged up, so I just unplug. But I, what I'm trying to say is the radio don't get no airtime. Because I'm listening to the things like I'm about to show you today. The radio don't get no chance to come on. I don't hear it. I don't get a chance to listen to what they're talking about. Because what they're talking about is another fear and propaganda campaign that they're running. Maybe a little bit of information. Maybe a little bit of information. But I get that for some of these guys that I'm about to show you today. If it's that serious, I know this dude Anton Daniels is going to say something about it eventually. But at the same time, he's saying something about it. He's going to be telling us, hey, you know, what are you going to do about it? You're going to get up and go to work every day? You're going to go hustle? You're going to go grind? Or are you going to let the government feed you? You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather get my information for somebody that's going to still motivate me and push me to the next level, not to just tell me, oh, it's so scary out here. World War III is on the rise. Okay, World War III is, is being hit at, for y'all that don't know right now, they're, they're throwing shots at a World War III right now. Uh, Biden has gave Ukraine permission to go to war, basically. And you know what happened with the call allies. So, but we'll get into that another day. But I just wanted to know, I just want you to know that things outside of 2K is going on in our world. And I think a lot of times we get so caught up in 2K that we don't be alert on what's going on outside of our doors. You know what I'm saying? So let's get started. 
check out this video. And this is what happened when we put so much time into a game. So we got a upsetting video, man, for y'all today. The title of this one is, y'all see the title, Man Upset After Losing in NBA 2K Video Game Allegedly Through His Baby. I Heard the Impact of the War. Wow. I can't even make something like this up, man. So, of course, we got to dive into this. So, without further ado, I need y'all to grab yourself that brew and let's get to the video. You want to in every video we react to, the description on YouTube, we'll have the link to the actual video for y'all to go support that content creator. Y'all already know who Brew the Sim is, so you don't need no link to go to his video and hit that like button to show us some love, man. So we definitely appreciate when our brothers can report news like this to us because we need this. We need this type of news. This is not news to fear to put us in fear. This is news to educate us. There is, yo, there is a chemical reaction for us to sit here and play this thing all day. There is something going on in our brain that if we don't step away from it, if we don't go to the meditation, we're gonna lose ourselves. We're gonna lose ourselves into this game, bro. And we're we're seeing it time by time. How many people have lost their job from just overplaying video games? How many people have constantly lost their relationships with, with, with people that they care about? Yo, we are getting affected real life by sitting here playing these games day. And I'm not trying to tell you not to play the game, y'all. I'm saying we need to have a boundary. We need to have a schedule. We need to have a time limit. We should not be playing 13 hours a day. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know I'm going to get crucified for saying this because I did it. You watched me do it, but I didn't know no better. And nobody wasn't trying to educate me on to tell me better. Because why? We seen the money coming. We seen the fame coming. So this is how we've been tricked. We see the fame and the money come. And so in our brain, it keep running. So what you need to be doing is saying, okay, now I see the money and the fame come. How can I now put myself in a position to where, hey, y'all, I'm not afraid to go eat anymore. Listen, y'all know how I rock. Y'all know I'm going to talk. So y'all know as I'm, we watching, we reacting to a video, but you know, I'm going to talk. Check this out. I watched my barber. Y'all know me and my barber have a, a deep relationship where I like to get information. He teach me about life. Kind of been like a mentor to me. Um, I watched my barber cut somebody's hair. Me and him talking. Now, this is how we operate. While he cutting hair, after he finished my haircut, we still chopping it up about life. About life. This dude walked away. Cutting hair now. Cutting hair, cutting hair. He wanted to show me something. He said, you can't, he, he had a quote. He had little quotes. He said, let me show you something. Show me this quote. You know, you can't change a person. A person is who they is. I said, Damn, okay, powerful quote. But he couldn't find it right then. Guess what he was doing? Cutting this dude hair, walked away to look for this quote. I'm sitting here like, because I had my own business before, right? Anonymous was the number one 2K streamer at one point, right? I was number one. You know, number one. You know what I'm saying? I had that little title. But didn't know how to home in and own it, okay? So y'all know I always been afraid to walk away from y'all. I never wanted to go eat. I never wanted to go on trips. Because this money and this fame is coming so fast, I'm afraid to walk away from y'all. So y'all controlled it so much of my life that I was afraid to go eat. I was afraid to go shit. Because the money and the fame is here. Everybody is cheering for me. I'm number one. I got to stay right here. Can we go out of town? Man, I can't go out of town. Do you see all these people sitting here for me? 
Do you see these money? Do you see these foster chips? I was afraid to leave the chair. So I played 20 hours a day, 18 hours a day, because I didn't have enough gut to say I'll be right back, y'all. I'm hungry. I watched my barber cut hair, cut hair. This nigga looking for a quote. The guy in the chair, he's in the chair long enough for me to say, because I've been in this position. You walked away from cutting hair to show me a quote? Then he did like this, y'all. I said, then, so he's looking for the quote. Then the nigga dropped. He said, he couldn't find it. You know how when a nigga try to look for something and they can't find it, and the nigga just, he just sat there, he like, okay, hold on. I said, what the fuck? I said, bro, when you finish, because I didn't want to say it in front of the guy that was getting his hair cut. I said, you just did something else that it was so amazing to me. You just stopped what you was doing. You just stopped your job to show me something. I said, when you finish, because I didn't want to say it in front of the guy that was getting his hair cut, because I didn't want to be disrespectful. Because in my mind, I'm like, nigga, you just going to stop cutting this nigga hair to show me a quote? What the fuck? So when the guy left, and we were still talking. We were still chopping up. He showed me the quote, and we still chopping up. I said, man. I said, I remember what I wanted to say. I said, man, how the fuck did you just stop cutting that dude's hair to show me that? He said, I always come first. This is my business. This is mine. If I get hungry right now, in the middle of his haircut, I'm going to eat. Hold on, player. Hey, man, I done got a little hunger, man. I, I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know that because, see, there's so much we don't know about life, y'all, that we just go out here and winging it. Bro in the chair got no choice but to wait. He got no choice. Either he leave with his head, head cut or he wait. He only got two choices. Either leave with your head half cut or sit in that chair and wait. And that dude didn't say nothing. And Buddy finished showing me that. He went right back and cutting Brody hair. And I'm not saying he was disrespectful because, of course, he acknowledged Brody. But he was like, let me show you this. And it wasn't, he wasn't showing me nothing like no BS. He was showing me some real stuff. Like he was showing me a quote that was was powerful. Like I said, if I can't if I can't mis, if I'm not mistaken, I think the quote was about you can't make a person be something they not. They are who they are. You know, I think that's the quote he showed me. And we were talking about some, and um, but yeah, it, it you know back to the video, back to the video because I you know how I do. We talk, we talk over here. Okay, rumors and news. Community that's cool, you in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation, we all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you done know. Your boy Brutal Simon the C Wicked and Mean with a next video for y'all, man. So we don't skip the rest of the intro because we got a lot to dive into right here. This story is very upsetting. I ain't gonna front with y'all. Yeah, I couldn't even believe this was real. Shout out to my guy Savage. Shout out to Wavy Day. But you know what's so crazy? I can believe it real because type one, be honest. Type one, if you was playing 2K, you was in a serious game in your head, your parent asked you to do something. Your girlfriend asked you to do something. Your husband asked you to do something. Type one, if you ever had a anger. That's for a split second. Type two, if you ever reacted like, God damn. Type one, if you ever had the feeling but didn't say nothing. Type two of you ever like, God damn, I'm in a fucking close game. Can you wait? You never done that? Type two if you done that. Type one if you just had the feeling, but you didn't react. See, that right there should tell us something. It's possible for us to snap on this game, bro. 
It's possible for us to snap on the people around us over a video game. So this game is doing something to us, whether we can recognize it or not. It's doing something to us mentally. <laughs> and I see some ones and twos saying that, hey, yeah, I done, I done snap. Let me put the comments. Let me get the chat box up here too so, so people can see that I ain't, you know, I ain't just making shit up. I got I got a whole bunch of ones and the twos in the chat. So therefore, we done had some feelings about this game. We done felt some type of way. And so that's what I'm saying, y'all. We have to get ourselves under control. I think I think we should all have some type of self-control before we say, I'm gonna play the video game today. No matter what game it is, but especially 2K. My boy said he told his wife to hold up. You know what I'm saying? I got in, he said I got to fighting with my uncle on stream. It was bad. And guess what? We can't judge you. We can't say, nigga, you tripping. Because many of us have had situations like that over in this game. I done snapped on the kids. Bro, you know how many times my daughter would be, you know, was reaching for me? And I'm like, no, no. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I see my daughter run back to her mother, and I'm like, I called that. But see, what I told y'all the other day, this is how you know when you're growing, when you're able to catch your bullshit. I, I told my daughter, no, I, I pushed on the little forehead, you know, let daddy play, you know, boop, 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 back playing the game. I turned around. Cause I was like, I knew what I did was fucked up. My daughter want to get up here and be held by her father. But in my head, I'm in a little comp game, not on the forehead, and I caught myself mentally. And I look back and I see my daughter running to her mother. And I said, damn. Huh. That's not good. That's not good. And that's what I'm saying. That's how I know every day I'm growing because in the past, y'all, when I do fucked up shit, I don't catch myself for weeks later. When I'm doing fucked up shit, nigga, I'm catching myself on the dime. Nigga, you, nope, that's not good. That's not good. So we can look at our brother and say, this nigga threw his baby against the wall. But many of us have similar incidents. We just ain't go that far. But we got very similar incident where we done snapped on the wife. Or we done snapped on the kids. Well, my bro said he done got to fight with Unk. My nigga said he was squabbling on the stream. Squabbling with Unk. You... <laughs> Man, I don't do Unk like that. <laughs> Damn. He said this article to me yesterday. <laughs> and after I check it out, like, it's one of those stories where you... Anyways, we... Let, let's just skip past all of that. And let's check this audio out from WLBTW. So let's check this out. Tonight, disturbing new details about child abuse prosecutors say unfolded inside this Milwaukee apartment. Police say 20. Okay. Let's look at our brother right here. Let's look at our brother right here. Bro, my face, serious jail time. Bro might face serious jail time for what he did. And I think he will more so need therapy than jail. But see, everybody ain't going to say they understand. Everybody ain't going to understand what we're saying when we say we locked in. He don't, I'm not giving him an excuse in a way out. What I'm saying, y'all, this game will do something to us, but we won't. It's not fashionable to say that there is something addictive about this. This is drugs. It's not fashionable to say, okay, there's a there's a hundred thousand people that don't give a fuck about a video game. There are some of us that spend thousands of dollars on this game. 
You telling me it don't do something to you? If it didn't do something to you, you wouldn't spend thousands of dollars. If it did not do something to you, you won't care about the new updates. If it didn't do something to you, you won't be looking on YouTube, see who dropping new information about it. This game does something to you. And I can guarantee you, I would, I would guess to say, Brody is from a community where most of us came from. I said this a long time ago. 2K has a grip on poverty people. And I know a lot of people don't understand what I'm talking about when I say that. There is a grip on poverty people when it comes to gaming. See, we think because we don't do drugs, we don't do crack, we don't do cocaine, but we have the same mental issues, the same fiend that they will have. But we feel like we better than them. But think about what I'm saying, though. Think about what I'm saying. You don't itch, you don't twitch, you don't leave work early to hit this blunt. To hit this pipe, to hit this crack, you don't, you don't, you don't go off on your uncle, you don't go off on your wife to hit this blunt, to hit this pipe, to hit this crack. We have the same. So there is something chemically that is going on in our brain, bro, that is pulling us daily, pulling our money daily, pulling our time. Getting us angry, upset, raging. I guarantee you, Brody, right here, come from a poverty background. I, I guarantee you. I, 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 I guarantee you, bro. It has a way. I'm talking about for some reason. And I know it's, I know we can say. Basketball is like the it's where it's where we 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 drawn to. We drawn to basketball. So outside of playing it in real life, this is next level for a lot of us. This is the next level for a lot of us. We don't we not six eight. We can't go out there and play against the LeBrons. And then guess what? There are some of us that actually play basketball in real life. And then now we saying, I'm going to bring it to the game. You know, I, I blew my knee out. You know, I got injuries that keeping me from playing it in real life. So, man, let me go shine on this motherfucking video game. And some niggas really want to shine. Some men uh, and women actually come here to create their second opportunity. And so, I'm not saying that Brody get a pass. But I definitely think he need therapy more than he need jail. I I, 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 I definitely think he need therapy more than he would need jail for a situation like this. Jalen White was playing NBA 2K and he was, quote, down two points in the fourth quarter of the game and became frustrated when he threw his eight month old son against the wall. Jalen White. 24 CF5334. In court Saturday, prosecutors charged White with physical abuse of a child and neglecting a child, causing great bodily harm. The defendant has confessed to this incident, and the defendant is also the only person. Do we think he do we think he don't love his child? Be careful how you answer this. Do you think he don't love his child? Do you think, do you think if he was to able to see himself doing what he did, would he have continued to do it? See, because remember what y'all just said, we all got reflection of us. Well, we'd have told the kid no. Well, we'd have told the wife no. Well, we'd have told the husband no. Well, we'd have told our parents, I fucking hate you. I want to play my game. See, bruh, he was under the influence. 
See, no, listen, I understand. It's easy to say over two points. It's easy. But he was under the influence. But we ain't going to, see, we not going to look at it like that, though. I'm so happy you said that, though. He was under the influence. But ain't nobody in the world going to look at it like that but us. But us. Only the, the rest of the world going to shit on this nigga. The rest of the world gonna say this nigga is the stupidest motherfucker ever. But see, us gamers, we know we done did fuck shit. We ain't throw no baby against the wall. But have we let that diaper stay on them until we finish that game? Type one, if you let the diaper stay on them just a little bit longer until you can finish that game. Damn, I smell some shit. Okay. Okay, the game just started. Just hold on. I'm going to change you. You don't think you're doing the same thing? See, you're doing the same thing that, that drugs would cause him to do. See, you just say ass and scream on the drug, but you on the drug too? You didn't eat. Your girl told you, come and eat. My boy say the influence of what, heroin? Now the influence of gaming. The influence of gaming. But see, we that's what I say. Only a select few gonna see that this is this is an addiction. This is a drug. I've been on alcohols and on drugs for years before I got sober. Yes, he need therapy, but that's different than physical harm. Like I said, you know, we all gonna have our own opinion on it. Um there are some people that do drugs and never cause harm to anybody. And then there's some people that do drugs and cause harm to the whole world. He said, dirty diaper and throwing the kid and all, bro. Like I said, man, you can, you know, we all have an opinion. The only difference is I have a mic right now. But your mic is in the chat. So, you know what I'm saying? You're welcome to type, type what you got to say. And I have to, you know, accept what you're saying. We don't think throwing the baby to the wall is okay. But see, I'm just on the end that I know how powerful this is. I know how much money I done spent in my household. I know what spending the light bill money on 2K look like. I know what that look like. The influence of 2K. The influence of gaming. See, we, see this is what I'm saying. You can't say that you have similar experience but you saying that what he did is different from what you did. Check, see, that's what I'm see. It's only it's only evidence of truth. You just said that you left the diaper on the baby a little too long. You just said that you told your wife, leave me the fuck alone. You just said that you curse your parents out. You curse your parents out because you wanted to play the game a little bit longer. You just said that you skipped school because you wanted to play the game a little bit longer. You just said that you took a day off of work to play the game when it first came out. That ain't going to pay you no money. How many of y'all took off of work to play 2K on release day? How many of y'all are scheduled months in advance? I'm not going to work on September 18th because that's when 2K released. You said the same exact thing that he did, but it's just a little bit different. But it's the exact same thing, but you can't even see the drug, though. That's what I'm trying to get you is. I'm trying to get you to see that there is something. Well, I mean, okay, I can't try to get you to see. You ain't going to see it if you don't see it. But you have the same issue he had. He just little more screen than you. See, we do weed. He doing crack. You understand what I'm saying? We both doing drugs. We both doing drugs. He just on it a little bit tougher than you. You ain't never broke no controller. You ain't never showed no rage, no anger against a game that is cheating you. So you ain't broke no controller. You ain't broke no headset. See, you said that your tidy whities is cleaner than the next man tidy whities when well, you've been shitting your pants too. So if you know that, then you can understand what I'm saying about his situation. 
And it's a, it's an addiction. But well, see, everybody don't want to admit to they got an addiction problem. This is not a game. This is a serious issue. You just said people are losing their families. So we can't sit here and say that we don't know where he's at. That's why I say, yeah, we're not giving him a pass, but therapy would be much better. Crackheads is not throwing the babies at the wall. He ain't never seen a crackhead, did he? <laughs> You don't, you don't know no real crackhead. If they... I... With the ability and the opportunity to inflict this harm on the victim. You can't even make this up, yo. You can't even make this up. Now, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into it because we got an article here from people.com with some more details. But his constant father has been accused of throwing his eight-month-old at the wall because he was losing at a video game while caring for the child. Police in Milwaukee say they responded to a report of possible child abuse at a local hospital last week for WISN, CBS 58, and Fox 6. Jalen White was arrested on charges of child abuse and child neglect, according to online jail records. Mm -hmm. White, who is 20, was reportedly in charge of taking care of the baby while the mother had gone out, CBS 58 and Fox 6 reported, citing a criminal complaint and investigators' account, Fox 6 initially referred to the woman as a female caregiver. Some of the injuries of the child were in different stages of healing. One eye of his was swollen and Ew. had injuries on his hands and legs per investigators. When the child was taken to the hospital, a scan revealed several other injuries, including fractured ribs, a skull fracture, and a broken bone, the complaint stated. The child also had other injuries in different mm. stages of healing, possibly indicating that he had been abused at different periods of time. Police allege in the complaints according to WIS. So what this sound like is, it sounds like a child that been abused well before we got to this state. That's what it sounds like. It sound like this, this kid has, has been through a life of Pain and suffering well before it was notified. Now, of course, that would change a lot of things. You know, when you started pulling more evidence and you say, damn, so this motherfucker don't just got one injury because of your addiction of video gaming. This this kid has several injuries over time. Damn. Sen and Fox 6. During their investigation, the White allegedly gave police several different stories, including blaming the child mom in one account, all of which reportedly turned out to be false according to the complaint. He then allegedly admitted mm. to angrily throwing his son against a wall because he was frustrated with his performance in a competitive NBA 2K game according to the complaint Fox 6 and WISN. He allegedly said he heard a loud thud after throwing his son on the wall. He hit his head hard on the wall, bro. Part Damn. of his alleged confession read, according to the complaint. I heard the wall. It was hard. See, I'm blaming the game. The game is... So the game don't have nothing to do with this. It's, it, it, listen, I'm still putting some of this on the game. I'm still giving some of this to game. He may ill, he may be on drugs. He may be on drugs. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you, bro. You can't take back what we just discussed. All y'all done admitted to it. The comments don't go away. You done told me you done had anger issues over this game you can't take back what we just discussed so yes yes he may be on some other shit and he may be an abusive father but i guarantee you this game has a portion to do with that not him being whether he because we don't know if he's an abusive the father so we're not going to go there but i'm saying for his anger a way to create anger you just told me you, you create anger from this game. 
I just shared some some situation of my own life. So yes, he may be on some of that ooh wee, but I guarantee you this game is what it is. It's an issue. It's a problem. And I'm not speaking just on 2K now. I I haven't said I really haven't said 2K, but maybe one or two times. I, I said gaming. I said gaming. I said gaming, but especially this game. Especially this game. Now I'm not just trying to go out here and blame 2K and say 2K got niggas beating up their kids. But I guarantee you, 2K is doing something to you chemically in your mind. 2K is causing some form of anger in your life, some form of hatred in your life. He said that complaint was just an excuse. Well, see, it can't be an excuse if we just all admit it that we have done fuck shit by playing the game. See, what I'm trying to get y'all to understand is it's bigger than 2K. It is, it's bigger than 2K. It's bigger than him. I'm trying to get you to see the other picture of what this game is doing to all of us. Let's remove him. You just told me that this game does something to you to where you left the diaper on your child for a little too longer. You just told me your wife made dinner and you said, I'm not hungry right now, but nigga, your stomach is growling. Let's remove him. He only making my point greater. He's making my point greater. We don't know what he actually got going on in his life. See, we all speculating. But we, we not speculating that he got upset for being down two points. Let's not, let's not lose what we know. Let's not speculate. Let's stick with the facts. The facts are that we know. We haven't heard no drugs in this system. The facts are he was down two points in the fourth quarter and he got upset and he threw his baby up to the wall. Those are the facts. See, everything else is speculating. So now that we know the facts, is it 2K fault or is it what we speculating to be the fault? Come on now. I'm just saying. And then once again, go back to what you just admitted to. You admitted that you have personal anger. You take your feelings out on your wife. You take your feelings out on your kids. You take your feeling out on family members over this game. So we're not really making him the topic. We're really making us the topic. But I'm using him to get us to see what it's doing to us. Okay, are we following? Type one if, if I'm making sense. And I'm not trying to, I'm not the smartest guy in the room. But I'm saying though, we're speculating on a lot of this. We don't know if he's on drugs. We know the fact that he, they didn't say he was on drugs. They said everything else, but they didn't say we found this in his system. We found that in his system. Maybe later on that'll come out, but we don't know that. We know that he was down two points in the fourth quarter, got upset, threw the baby against the wall. So with that information, now, you know, I was pretty good in school. I have enough contact clues to say, who is the issue in this situation? What caused him to have this reaction? So who is the issue? Now I go back to you and your personal life. Let's remove him now. In your personal life, who caused you to leave a diaper on your baby a little too long? What caused you to spend thousands of dollars out of your household? This Gaming world has, yo, I'm not saying let's stop playing games. I'm saying, what I say, y'all? Because don't make me out to be the bad guy. Anonymous is against gaming. Why would I do that? Gaming can be a form of meditation. You dig? This can be a form of meditation, a form of socializing with your brothers and sisters. You dig? So we're not saying gaming is bad. Anonymous is saying there need to be a time frame. We don't need to spend 18 hours, 20 hours, 13 hours, and we haven't got nothing covered in our real life. That's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to criticize. I'm not trying to counsel 2K. 
I'm trying to counsel you from playing it 30 hours a day and you haven't done nothing with your own personal life. That's my issue. That's my overall message. He just making my point though. And like I said, everything else, what well, we know his story is speculating. But the truth is, we have a serious money problem and we have a serious anger problem. We don't even got to a point where we can't even be respectful to each other. Every time you lose to somebody, it's you bitch ass nigga, you ain't even good. We don't even know how to socialize anymore. Own a, own a fucking video game. But well, we gonna finish it up though. On his head, he continued. I heard the impact of the wall after I tossed him. White was reportedly losing by two points in the game when he became angry per police accounts. Now, this is once again, no drugs. The police said he was losing by two points. Don't oh, make me have to ask again. I wonder who gonna lie this time. So let me ask again. What my stage players at? Where my comp pro L players at? Where my casuals at? That casuals, but try hards. I know y'all in there. Come on. You a casual, but you love to fucking win. Come on, dog. You ain't locked in right now? You ain't locked in right now. You telling me you in that close game and your girl trying to come and talk to you about some serious shit. You telling me you really listening? Be for real. You can't lie to me. I'm a gamer. I'm with you. See, you can lie to your friends that don't play this shit with you. You can lie to your girl. This shit ain't that serious. Nigga, this shit's serious. This shit's serious enough to where you will go to work 20 minutes late. You will, nigga, you barely can put your clothes on correctly for trying to finish this last game. So, you can't lie to somebody that live in this world with you. You can't lie to me. You can lie to everybody else, but I know the truth. Nigga, leave me the fuck alone. It's 18 to 19. All we got to do is get two stops. We down motherfucking one. It's going to 21. Can everybody shut the fuck up and let me focus for the last couple of plays? Really? That ain't you? You go downplay it. You go downplay it. Don't downplay it. Tell the truth. You want to win this game. No matter if you're a casual, no matter if you're a regular, no matter who, what you are, you want to win this goddamn game. But my, my girl said she barely can use the bathroom. <laughs> Brody said he's seen people pissing in bottles on release date. Come on. So that's what I, that's that's my that's my overall point right there, man. People, do you know right now there are people if my guy if my guy Prime in here, he will be one to co-sign this with me. Prime said he always take off days, months ahead of time before the new 2K release. Now, we're not saying that you can't do that, but we're saying that's, some sh that's a serious thing, though. That says that this game has some type of an effect on us that we're taking off this year for next year. How many people have already put into their schedule that they need to be off on the release date of 2K26? They need to know the exact date that 2K come out so they can go ahead and put that shit in their schedule. What if he was mad because he got sold? It's still the same thing. It's over 2K. My boy said PTO for sure, dog. Come on, bro. <laughs> the PTO is in effect, my nigga. More upsetting right here. This, they said, according to the article, the child is not expected to live. And if he dies, oh my he goodness. The charge against White are expected to be updated. To include homicide per authority, WISN reported the white is being held at the Milwaukee County Jail on oh shit, bro. 
it was not immediately clear. Oh shit, bruh. Damn. What? This story just get worse and worse, bruh. God damn. Y'all appreciate a new following to the family. If you like teamwork and defense, you love the channel. This story just get worse and worse. If he had entered, please, or retain on a turn. They said a child is not expected to live. Turn to speak on his behalf. I can't even make this type of stuff up, y'all. This is so disturbing. And I don't even know why people take video games that serious. I understand being competitive and I understand all that stuff, but it's never that serious. Damn. In fact, I won't even put this on comp. He had to be weird in his head. He had to be sick in his head, yo. Now, I got so much questions, man, because according to the article, right, they said after the scans, you noticed that the child had more injuries, which clearly meant that the child been getting abused. Do they have anyone around them? Do they have anybody that had even when they came into contact with that child? Yo, and this is... Yo, can we have a serious conversation for a moment? Type one if we can get real serious right quick. I mean, we've been serious, but... Yes. Y'all. This is why it's important that we all try, we all strive to be something in life. This is why it's very important that we all strive to be something in life. So many of us are unprepared for families. So many of us are unprepared for kids. So many of us are having kids and we can barely feed ourselves. And all that do, it create stress. Anger, pain, resentment, hatred. So we hear the story of the kid being abused. I know a situation where it's easy for somebody to be abused, uh, to be abusive, abusive to kids when they didn't want the kid. When they can barely feed themselves, now they just had a baby and Nobody won't babysit. You don't got no support. It's easy for a mother to be somewhat resentful to a kid. It's easy for a father that don't want to be there. He just wanted to have sex. Now he got to actually create a family with you. And bitch, I just was fucking and you done got pregnant. Now he angry and fighting the family. Now she angry and fighting. Her. So I, I think is I think this is important that we all strive to be successful when it comes to picking a partner to have kids with. Whether that's a woman picking the man or a man picking the woman, we have to do a better job of getting into a relationship that we can have a thriving family, a, a, a child that can thrive to be something. Damn, man, that's crazy. But I know for a fact that when we come from that poverty environment and then we fuck around and have some kids, come on, bro. Some of us take a while to build up that, okay, I'm a parent. I can speak for myself. And that's what I love about me because I have my own examples. Had my first child, and I was happy, cool. But when I realized I couldn't go nowhere no more, like for real, for real, like I can go somewhere, but for my parents, you know what I'm talking about. Like, who gonna watch baby? Don't tell me you live in a different state. Oh, God. Damn. Imagine having kids and you don't live in the same state your family live in. Do you know that take a minute and you somewhere be like, 
And fuck, I had kids. Can't do shit. So I'm not, this is what, see, a lot of us, we can't be honest enough to, to, to admit this. And, and you might, don't say it to me, but you know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all didn't experience. Some of y'all done had that. Man, I can't do shit. It take a, I'm not saying everybody took as long as me, but it took me so much to get into the, and really accept that I'm a father and my shit to change. I can't do that shit. I can't fucking go nowhere. Ah, damn, I can't hang out with the partners because who gonna watch the baby? Then I got to sit here and trust a stranger with my child while they telling me every day on the news that they are doing something to the kid. So now I'm scared to put my child in daycare. My oldest daughter didn't go to daycare until she was like five years old. Because we were scared. We were scared. Think of that. We just heard about the daycare lady popping on the kids. We heard about the, the kids being found dead. You know, that's when nigga was really on the news and listening to the news, you know, before I know the news was out there fucking with niggas' head. But nigga, nigga was scared to put his child in daycare. Nigga was scared to have a stranger to come to his house and watch his child. So, you start building up a little like, God damn. Did. Now, once again, some of us do weed, some of us do milk. So while my weed is like, damn, I'm fucked up. I can't go nowhere. I'm not doing the milk to where it's like, I hate my baby. Ugh. Some people say they don't even want to be parents anymore. Some people check out of being a parent. Some people even check out. Here you go, grandma. Grandma been watching the baby for 10 years. Grandma is tired. So this is what I have to, it's, it, it was, it's tough, but you have to have people in your life that can help you calm down and, and say, you know, the kids didn't ask to be here, but they here. You have to, you have to stop being so selfish. It's not, it's not about you no more. And y'all, that's, just, that's tough to accept sometimes. It's tough to accept that I can't go and spend all my money on 2K when this is a major drug addiction for me. It's tough to say I can't spend all my money at the parties. I can't go on every trip because if I go on every trip now like I used to, I'm able to just jump up and go somewhere. I can't do that no more. So it's like, God damn. If I do that, then the baby don't eat. And I don't want the baby not to eat. So you have to come to realize and get comfortable with self that I'm a mother. I'm a father. You know what I'm saying? But I, and see, like I said, I was happy to be that too. This is see, this the part what I'm saying. I was happy to be a father. But you're not prepared all the way unless you did the preparing. Let me say this. For myself, I was happy to be a father, but I didn't know that everything would slow down when Grant, you know how everybody be like, yeah, I'm gonna watch the baby, I'm gonna watch the baby. Motherfucker be lying. Come on, motherfucker be still trying to enjoy themselves. So while you was pregnant, homegirl gonna watch the baby, sister gonna watch the baby, uncle gonna watch the baby, auntie gonna watch the baby. When you have the baby, who watching the goddamn baby? You. <laughs> you, 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 you. you. You'll be like, God damn, what happened to all these family members that said they're going to come over here and help me watch the baby? Now you stuck with the baby every day, and I'm not saying you're not happy about your baby. I'm saying that it takes some use to, it takes some getting used to. So that's why our wives and our girlfriends and our baby mothers, they do need a break. That's why you have to understand, like, I, I understand women's a lot more that are pregnant because I get it. And this is why I like, I try so hard to be a better father because I get it. You will lose, mothers will lose their fucking mind. They got to be with this baby 24 seven 
I can understand why they would go crazy. They, they have to sit there and stop everything they're doing. Ain't no hanging out with the homegirls like that unless you're taking the babies with you. Ain't no more just popping up going on no trips. So what I'm saying, y'all, a lot of us, we're happy to have our families. It's just that some of us, we're not prepared to what come with that when we say, okay, yeah, I got a family. Uh, okay, yeah, I got kids. Now, damn, I can't even, you know what I'm saying? Let, let's just say you're a smoker. Now you got to take your ass outside and smoke. Unless you're going to smoke in the house around the baby. Now you got to be cleaning up, spraying shit before the baby get back home. I'm just saying a lot of stuff changed that a lot of us are not aware of. And I think sometimes that can cause anger and abusiveness to the child. I wonder if I said a lot of shit, but it made sense. But let me say it one more time. The overall thing, what I was saying on that is I think abusiveness come to a lot of kids due to the fact that we have a little resentment. I wonder if I'm making sense, but it's a lot of it's a lot of shit I'm saying, but it's true. You can you can resent your kid even though you love them. You can resent them because you like my whole life got to change. And yes, I love you, but man, I can't even fucking go to the bathroom in peace. God damn, you you know, especially for mothers, especially for mothers, fathers, we get it too, cause nigga. We gotta work 10 times harder now. Oh my God, they don't talk about that for fathers. Fathers gotta work 10 times harder because now, nigga, I just had to feed you. Now I gotta feed him. I gotta feed her, especially if you got multiple kids. Nigga, the daddy don't even get a. But see, I know, I know we, I know our mothers go hard, but I just don't think. People really understand how much the father don't fucking get to stop thinking. He got a nigga. God damn. Okay, I ain't trying to. Okay, but. So. Let's say that one more time. In this situation that we are listening to. In this situation that we're listening to. I think a lot of people that are not ready to have kids have kids. And then we start seeing the kids being abused. That's the situation I think is happening with because like, but but once again, that's speculation. We speculating, so I don't know. But I just I have seen it. I I seen it. I seen where mother and father wanted to go out and they would leave you at home by yourself. I have done it. I have done it. I have left my daughter at home by herself to go out. I have done it. I had done it when I was younger. Because I was still battling like, damn. I don't have, you know, and, and in my head, I was like, and, and listen, I know, I know how serious that is. I know, I know. Listen, I know, I know. But my parents out there, I know. I'm fully aware how serious that is. But I'm saying it happened a lot, y'all. I'm not the only person that have done it. I promise you that. I promise you. I'm not making excuses and saying we owe. Listen. 75% of parents have left their kids at home before by themselves. I don't want to. Nobody can't tell me. Nigga, I would say 85. 85% of parents have left their kids at home by themselves before. Ain't nobody going to tell me otherwise. So I, it's not right. But that's a part of going through that stage of, I'm a parent now, I can't do this. And so you're fighting with yourself because you still want to have a piece of your old life. So you're like, I still want a piece of my old life, but you know, your old life has to die because and not all the way die, but you're like, damn, if I don't got no babysitter, I can't go. And you're like, shit, I ain't going to be gone long. I'm just going to go out for like two minutes. You know what I'm saying? So you run out for your little two minutes, you ha, ah, and then you run back home, and you're like, see, I knew, I knew she was going to still be asleep. I know my baby. 
Okay, where we going? I know it's not right. I, I know it's not right. Uh, outside of them? Because I doubt anybody would see a child with all these injuries and not do something, man. <laughs> you got so many questions. But ain't much to say about this, y'all. This dude, I hope he get lost under the prison, bro. Mm. Under the prison. I ain't going to front with y'all. Don't even... This is no excuse. And games are not supposed to be that deep, y'all. I know we competitive-ish, but it's... But this is what I have to... I have to... I have to object and say I disagree with my brother Brute here. <laughs> Brute said, fuck him. I have to disagree because gambling not supposed to be that competitive. Sex not supposed to be that addictive. But it is. You know, we all have a different mind frame. Some of us get lost in art. Some of us get lost in and being a competitor. You know, you look at Michael Jordan. Look at LeBron James. You know, you don't hear about nobody else spending this much money on their body. But they're lost until I want to keep playing. I want to be at the top of my game. So, what I'm saying is, we can judge it from the outside and say, yeah, we can throw him away. And we, and we don't agree what he did. But I say there's something else going on that, yes, he may need to go and be locked up, but is jail the right place for an issue like this? Because there's something, like, like you said, like Ruth said, there's something that's going on up here for him to get there. And once again, we, we haven't been told that he on drugs, and we admitted to everything he did. So I think there is something else there that need to be looked into. And guess what? We know the black man don't get therapy. We know the system don't agree when it comes to rehab and therapy and rehabilitation in that system. See, that's another issue, but I ain't going to go into it. Because every, I ain't going to get into that. But that's another issue. When we see people go into this system, that courthouse, yeah, we can say throw them away, but there's a lot of people that get the counseling. Because we clearly can know, we, anybody in their right mind knows something has to be going on upstairs for that man to throw his baby against the wall. And then, like I said, it don't make it any better that you're playing a game that gets many of us. There's some of y'all may be stronger than a motherfucking ox. You can play this game and never have no emotions tied to it. But there's millions of us that play this game and have some emotion tied to it. And you can't lie. I got the comments. You know we live streaming. You already said, and that's what it was beautiful because I asked y'all. How many of y'all have did something woo, 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 it, because of this game? And everybody started saying one, two. Everybody started raising their hand. Then when we found out his situation, it was different. It ain't no different. You did the same thing. He just did it on a higher level. So guess what? The same chemical that is hitting him, is it hitting you? It hitting you. You're getting the same chemicals that he getting from playing this game and having these emotions that connected with this game to make you tell your wife, bitch, can you give me a moment? I'm not hungry right now, but she hear your stomach and she just wanted to fix you a plate. How you think it, how you think it make your lady feel to know that she just cooked you dinner and now you eat it when it's cold because you wanted to keep playing 2K? See, it's the same thing, just on a different level. Yes, you did not throw your baby against the wall. But you still rejected the love for you. You still rejected your child that wanted to sit on your lap and, and play. And you wouldn't let your daughter play on your 2K account. You ain't let your son play on your 2K account. Why? Why you ain't let him do it? All right, we're going to leave that alone. Because I know 
I know y'all ain't trying to compare the two, but man, listen, great video, man. Shout out to Brutus Sim. I think the young brother definitely needs some counseling. Whether he was white, black, Mexican, Indian, Haiti, I'm not saying it because he's a young black boy. I'm saying it because clearly he needs some counseling, bro. Any type of man that would throw a motherfucking kid to a wall, there is something else going on. There is something else going on, bro. All right, but let's move on to our next.